everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and today, as the title says, we're reviewing a Netflix original anime called Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop. And before we jump into the review, just let me get one thing clear. Although I am not a huge fan of anime, I really do enjoy the simple slice of life type movies they do, such as Wolf Children and Ponyo. So when I ran into this colorful project, I decided why not give it a try. So here are my thoughts. Enjoy! First off, I highly enjoyed the colorful scenery and bubbly music that went along with this film. I thought the story, although somewhat awkward at times, was as I found it to be fun and colorful while also having some really nice moments sprinkled in. The film shows us two characters that struggle with self-confidence but in different ways. One being Cherry, a boy who struggles with public speaking and general socializing, and Smile, a famous streamer girl who is worried about being judged by her appearance now that she has braces. However, they soon find confidence and acceptance in each other, which is a beautiful thing. I also really like the storyline of an outgoing social media star meeting a shy, socially awkward, poetic boy. It's a fun concept that I feel works well, especially in today's age. However, I do have some problems with this film. One of those being that as much as I enjoyed the colorful and bubbly scenery, I felt kind of rushed while looking at it. It felt like the camera would often move too fast, causing me to not really get a chance to absorb or even see what was going on. And while we're on the subject of pacing, one thing I feel I should mention, I also had a gripe with how fast the love story between the two main characters was going. I mean, I get that this is all taking place over a couple months and that these two have really grown a bond together. However, it just seems a little here and there at times. For example, the first half of the movie is about their friendship and blossoming romance. But later the plot kind of turns into a mystery love story and just seems kind of flip-floppy and back and forth a bit too much. So for me personally, the romance between Cherry and Smile seemed a bit forced. All in all, I really enjoyed this film's atmosphere and general simplicity. And can see myself watching it again sometime down the road if I remembered it. So, would I recommend this? Yeah! If you really like this stuff with the colors and the characters and the fun atmosphere, and if you have seen it, let me know your ideas and thoughts down below. And if you haven't, well, check it out. Make sure not to spoil anything in the comments. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching, and stay awesome, guys. Bye!